everyone in this video i'm going to show you how you can check your batteries your alkaline batteries your AAA, double a batteries really quick simply by bouncing them and you can tell which battery is going to perform better without any tools let me show you guys i'm not sure if you can tell the difference yeah should be pretty obvious i was i knew the way they were bouncing and landing so solid that those were going to be the strongest one and i did a kind of a process of elimination pitting the weakest against for the weakest and then the strongest against the strongest to get the better results pretty obvious that is confirmed that the bounce test 100 percent works guys so when the battery is is nice and healthy the alkaline in gel inside of it is very fluid so it's very fluid and it'll absorb the shock when you drop it on the ground so we're going to find out which one of these batteries is charged up we're going to mix them up we got two AAA batteries. One is good, one is bad. I'm going to show you the difference. That's the bad one. It bounced. Watch how this one's going to. Doesn't bounce as much. Just kind of thuds. That's going to be the good one. So let me prove it here to you. Like I said, it's usually corresponded with a good voltage rating. Reading. Oh, it's getting dark. 1.52 1.24 don't take my word for it guys do this yourself christmas right around the corner or other times you have going through the drawers don't know the batteries it's a cool little trick to show friends and family so simply using a multimeter is going to only give you the state of charge and that's like basically a snapshot of the current resting voltage and that doesn't really tell us much about how well that battery is going to perform. But what will tell us is SOH, the state of health. And the bounce test does a better job of doing that because as that alkaline gel absorbs that shock better, um, that lets us know that the zinc hasn't hardened up. It ha the, the energy hasn't been uh, discharged. And without a tool at all, you can get a better um, idea of what battery is going to best perform for you. You know, the multimeter is not going to tell us the uh, internal resistance or anything like that, but this, that will, that kind of get, it's kind of, you know, you got to make sure you're on a nice hard surface, all these other things. It's just a quick, easy method to check that state of health. So when you have a healthy battery, it usually is corresponded with the good voltage, like we can see there. Now the multimeter still can eliminate bad batteries if you have one that's 1.4 it still may perform okay in a flashlight or something, but it's gonna be on its way uh, out. So do me a favor, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like these types of videos, check out my other past, uh, my past videos, and thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.